3610 of stunning French gigantic mirror. Absolute peach this one, it fought like a demon. About three foot long this one, but they're proper on the bait. The cell is really, really working at the moment. I'm really getting through it, but they're, uh, they're loving it in it. So uh, get on the cell. We're going to talk bait now. And uh, it's fair to say that you are a boily devotee, isn't it? Yes. So uh, if we can get a little bit of information out of you about mm -hmm. what you've been doing recently, fishing wise. Um, this season, English fishing, what you've been doing? Essex Manor. Right, okay. Your neck of the woods. Yeah, and how was that to start off with? Absolutely horrendous. Yeah, I heard on the phone that you were going to give up fishing. It nearly beat me to pieces until right. I discovered the chod rig. The chod rig, and then it all changed. Oh, it's transformed me fishing, yeah. Right, yeah. right. And what bait are you using down there? Sal. Right, okay. Reason? Because loads of it went in last year. Right. Or enough went in. Right. Other than that, I would have stayed on Active Right, that's M a, that's a very repetitive there. answer. Every time I ask you that, every time we do a TV show, why do you use that? Because loads of it goes in. Is that a common thing with you? Well, you don't go against the grain, do you? Really. You don't. Well, I think no, that's a, I think that's no, a good thing, personally. Why, why, uh, why try and compete with loads of new bait going in when they already like one that's already been introduced? Yeah, absolutely. You know? Frimley, the pulse. Right. We stoved it in but because people had stoved it in before and they love it. Yeah, right, OK. And when you're fishing at Manor, what sort of size baits are you putting in? Started off with tens. Right. Um, because it was all fishing on the shelf, on the marginal shelf. Really close in, So, yeah. uh, and there's loads of siltweed. So the tens, I kind of figured, just hang up at different sort of levels of the siltweed. The silt some would drop, yep. some, but okay. of late, uh, 14s, right. and lots of them. Right, Proper okay. fishing. Right, okay. And uh, Frimley? That was fishing over tens, right. but baiting up with 14s, just so I could get more poundage of bait right. out into the pond quicker. Right, okay. Um, and then prior to that, welly, I suppose, was one before, yeah, was welly, it? Yeah, welly, yeah. And what, what were you fishing on there? Activate. Right. Um, Eight, 18 millers, double 18s on the hook. Right. Big long rigs, big yeah. hooks, big long airs. Right. Proper fishing. Because that's what worked there. Yeah, yeah. It's not a particle of water. They've been reared on boilies. They yeah. love boilies. Um, and I only went with Activate on there because I knew it would have been in right. at some stage in the past 10 years. Right, like okay. it has in every lake. Very important question for you because a lot of people are not in the privileged position that we're in where they can get their bait for free. If you've got to pay 10, 11, 12 quid a kilo for your boilies, you're just going into the tackle shop as normal and you're going on a two night session, how much would you put out when you first got there? Presuming it was three rods, yeah. it's a bit of a tricky question because it depends on your budget, doesn't it? It does, yeah, but um, you know, what, what, you know what could you, what, what's the minimum you could get away with, put it that way? Um, Stock, if you say someone like Sandhurst, yep. quite a good stock in the fish, yep. a lot of biggins. Yep. I, I would probably uh, spread a couple of kilos over three rods, but I'd right. fish all three quite tight right. to, to, to make, the, maxim, most, make yeah. the most of me, a little bit of money I've got or whatever money you've got right. to spend. Okay, and then in that same situation, when would you put more in? Once I'd had a bite. And how On much, a place like that, I would. Right, and how much more would you put in after each bite? Probably 100 baits on something like that. Right. Okay. Get a bite, another hundred blades. It's like the spotting little enough, and you, you work, you work the swim, don't you? Really? Right. Okay. And what what makes you decide on the size of boiler you're going to use? Uh, distance. Right. Quite possibly. Yeah. Uh, Frimley, it was all quite short, so ten millers were fine. The manor, yep. ten millers are fine. Yeah. But uh, distance really would be a factor. Right. Okay. If I want to fish it, hundred yards plus, it would have to be eighteens, just yeah. purely because fourteens don't don't they go just that don't well. Go, no, they don't get that distance in a cool. stick. Right, OK. All right, well, sound words of advice from Mr Tong. Um, he's used loads of different mainline boilies, caught on every single one on pretty much every lake he's fished. So uh, very good advice from him.